Hi you guys, welcome back. Okay, so a few disclaimers before we get started with this video this morning, okay? Now you guys know I love me some makeup, I love doing videos, I love just coming to hang out with you guys, all right? So even though I'm on the road in a different location, different background, different situation, okay? I'm still gonna put on some makeup and have a good time. Now, first disclaimer, Okay, I'm in a hotel, as y'all can see, different background or whatever, so you guys might get some different backgrounds from me for the next week or so, because I'm gonna be on the road for a little bit, and I'm still gonna be filming videos. <laughs> but, y'all might hear the AC going because, as y'all know, it's summer, it's warm, and it's hot in this hotel, so your girl needs some air. Second disclaimer, okay, my video quality might not be that great because I forgot to get the cord for my monitor, so I am filming using my phone today instead of my camera, so I apologize if the quality is not as good as with my camera, and... I'm not having the best start this morning with my breakfast, okay? Not that y'all care, but let me ask y'all a question, okay? Now, when I go to a hotel, I try to go somewhere where it has a refrigerator and stuff so that I can go get me some healthy stuff to eat. I don't have to be eating a bunch of fast food, right? Who goes to the store and picks up, you know, some nice little healthy cereals, some milk and stuff for breakfast, and a big old box of forks, okay? Your girl. <laughs> Okay, so as a result, I'm sitting here having some yogurt with a fork, okay? Well, thank God that it's thick because, shoot, I'll be starving, okay? Needless to say, I won't be eating no cereal this morning. <laughs> so, anyway, we're going to have a good time, you guys. We're going to go ahead, play around with this Certified Affinity Palette and get it cracking, okay? So, let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and get started for today with this Affinity Palette. So let me just go ahead and talk about it a little bit. I don't have a whole bunch of information on it. I just knew when I saw this palette online that I wanted it. Now, I initially purchased the Affinity 2 palette from Certify. This is the first one, and they came out with a second one. And the Affinity 2 has all the beautiful blues and greens and silver and stuff in it. I forgot to bring it, <laughs> so I'll be filming that when I get home. But this is what the palette looks like. It's kind of like a tall, long, slender palette. Um, it does have some information on the back. I will go ahead and scroll that for you guys. But yeah, this is what this palette looks like. Okay, there's no mirror in here. It just has a really pretty kind of like heart design up there with the colors that are in this palette. But this is what it looks like, you guys. It's like super duper pretty. As you can see, it has the purples, the magentas, the pinks, the oranges, yellows. It's just really gorgeous with the reds in here. So you can create a lot of looks with this. Now, I just now remembered looking at this palette that it's an all matte palette, okay? No shimmers anywhere to be found. It's all matte, but it's still beautiful and gorgeous nonetheless. It's 18 shadows and I am just dying to dig into this. I don't know, maybe I'll add a little bit of glitter or something just to give it a little pizzazz, but it looks like I'm doing an all matte look today, okay? So now I did purchase this off the certified website and I purchased it with the conversion rate because you know they have the UK rate and all that stuff. It was close to 40 bucks. I think it was like 38 bucks at the time that I purchased it. And I don't remember if I had a discount code or anything. So it's not an inexpensive palette in my opinion, but it is very gorgeous. So like I said, I ordered the two first and when I saw how gorgeous it was, I went back and ordered this one. So let's go ahead and just get started with this look today. Let me do some quick swatches for you guys so you can see how these colors swatch. So 
as you can see, the color story really comes together when you swatch it. It just looks really, really pretty. I think it's gorgeous. I did expect the shadows to swatch a little bit powdery because it is an all matte palette with very vibrant, bold colors, but I think they're very, very pretty. So hopefully I can create something nice today. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some eyebrows and clean them up and prep my lids and then we will move into a look with this palette. Okay guys, so now that I have my MAC Soft Over Paint Pot down, I am ready to jump right in. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with this darkest purple down here. It's just calling my name, it's gorgeous. So I'm gonna start off with that in my crease area. very nicely pigmented. So I'm just kind of winging it, you guys. Not sure exactly what I want to do, but I know I want to play with quite a few of these shades today. So I'm just leaving that on the outer corner of my crease. Now I want to go into this shade here, which is a bit of a kind of deep, like a dark pink shade. And so I'm going to use that on the inner part of my crease. And I hope I brought enough brushes, you guys, because I call myself trying to pack light and just bring the bare necessities with me, <laughs> makeup-wise, even though my whole carry-on case was full of makeup, brushes, palettes. <laughs> Hot mess. So this color is very nicely pigmented as well. Not patchy at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and try and create a little bit of this sunrise or sunset look. I'm gonna go into this beautiful orange shade here. It's like a deep orange and use some of that to smoke out the purple. Okay, so that color is very pigmented, but I'm going to need a denser brush to blend that out. Okay, so those two colors aren't blending together the way that I wanted them to, but let's see if we can get still get a nice gradient with adding a little bit of the yellow on top of that orange. What I should have did was go in with a lighter purple before I went in with that orange. It would have helped it to blend better, but let's go ahead and go in with this yellow here, the one that's a little bit warmer, and use that next to that orange. So that is blending with the orange very nicely. It's about as pigmented as I expected it to be without having a super white base. So I'm not mad at it. It's pretty, very pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this eye and then we'll decide what we're gonna do with the lid. Okay, so of course I decided I wanna go ahead and do a cut crease. So I'm going to use my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas which is right here, do maybe a three quarter cut crease. And then I'm going to put some of these colors on my lid. All right, y'all, that's as good as it's gonna get right now, okay? So I want to go in with some more yellow. So I'm going back into that same warm yellow shade and place that on the inner portion of my cut crease. And there's really very minimal fallout with these matte shadows, you guys. It's really not bad. 
not bad at all. I really hope you guys can see these colors because with me using my phone and this one little janky light I got, <laughs> we working it out today, okay? So now I wanna go into, I think I'm gonna go into this lighter orange here so it's not as deep as the one we used in our crease area. I'm gonna go into this one here because it's a little bit more of a true orange instead of a red orange. Ooh, chow. Okay. Yeah, I really hope you guys can see the pigmentation on this because this orange is very pigmented. Very, very pretty. Okay, and now I think I'm just going to go back into that dark purple shade and bring the outer corners into this cut crease. I kinda wanna see what it'll look like if I add a little bit of red. So I think I'm gonna go into this red shade here and see how that looks with a little bit of that in between that purple and orange. Yeah, I like that. I think that's just what I needed to kind of bring that purple and orange together. No, thank you. Okay. So working with mattes on your lid can be a little tricky sometimes because it can be hard to blend powder into, into powder, into powder, into powder. So this is what we have for the lids, okay? I'm liking the gradation, the blendation, okay? I'm liking it. So I'm going to throw on some eyeliner and finish my complexion and then we'll come back and finish up this look. Okay you guys, so I'm back. I have my complexion done, blush, highlight, all of that jazz. So let's go ahead and finish these eyes. I want to put a little bit of black eyeliner on my lower lash line. Since this is a pretty bold eye look, I wanna stick with that theme. So I'm just taking my, what is this? Oh, this is just a Profusion Black Pencil Eyeliner. A little bit of eyeliner not too much and I'm going to go back into the affinity palette and I want to smoke out my lower lash line just a little bit not too much so I think I'm going to go in actually with this purple here so I'm going to take a little bit of that on my lower lash line and I'm going to smoke it out with some of mm, yeah I'm gonna smoke it out with some of this orange here a little bit of my Petra by Pixie. Pixie by Petra. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my Pixie by Petra mascara. I'm not gonna do any type of inner corner highlight or brow bone highlight today because I just wanna keep it colorful and matte. So for the lips, I'm going to go in with these two lip colors. I'm going to use my Fenty, which one is this? Unbothered, unattached, unaware, whatever it is. <laughs> I'll put it on the screen. But I'm going to use the purple Fenty and I'm going to use this dose of colors. And this one is Talk is Chic. Okay, so I'm going to do some type of blend with these two lipsticks. this 
Certify Affinity Palette. My initial thoughts, first impression on this palette, I like it. It's pretty. I love matte shadows. I really, really do. I mean, I have a million shimmers that I can use to pop on my lid if I just want to do that for a look. But I really do like to create all matte looks and a matte rainbow or matte sunset look is just absolutely gorgeous to me. I like how these shadows performed. They're very, very nicely pigmented. I think they blended in nicely together. It was really just my color choices that gave me a little bit of difficulty with the purple and the orange. I should have put a lighter purple in between the two or blended out some of the red with the purple first. So that was really my error as far as blending and having any issues. But other than that, I love the way that these colors just go together, the way that they just really create a beautiful look from this color scheme. So first impressions, I like it. No problem with the pigmentation. As you can see, there's like very minimal fallout with this palette, if any. And I think that the colors performed or the shadows performed very nicely. So those are my first impression thoughts, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and it's not too kind of different from my usual video quality. I do want to still do videos for you guys while I'm on the road. So hopefully it's okay. And yes, I will be going to get me some spoons today <laughs> so I can eat my cereal. Anyway, enough of that, you guys. Thanks so much for watching and hanging out with me while I am on the road, and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!